let me just start off by saying, I feel I owe The Sims 3 an apology. I know, it's not like me to apologise for anything, but I was so ready to dig into this game and really have a huge rant about it, about how everything was going to be all cut to pieces. Right, how small can we make this game? And how much should we ensure that our customers have to buy an expansion pack to enjoy it? I was completely wrong. This game, just the stock Sims 3 on its own, is wonderful. It, I have fallen in love with it. It's just been so much fun. And there's so much to do in just the, just the normal game. Absolutely no expansion packs. I'm staggered. I was so not ready for it. So, I shan't lie to you. I've made a bit of a start, not with uh, our dearest Pork Calypso, of course. Uh, I made another character and just uh, learnt the ropes of the game uh, using that gent. Nice fellow. Maybe we'll meet him along the line, but I think it's time to return to our, our uh, rather charming Pork Calypso. Begin his wondrous misadventures in the world. Okay, here he is. And I've actually made him a little shack. This was just me learning how to build a house in the game, but... Uh, I think it'll suit his needs rather appropriately. Congratulations, Mr. Calypso. <laughs> You're a homeowner now. We're going in to explore the microcosm of Port Calypso. Oh, it's been too long, old friend. <laughs> Just look at him. <laughs> tired? How are you tired? Man, you really are tired. Well then. Let's, uh, let's carry you over the threshold, as it were. I've got everything all set up here for you. As you can see, I have spared no expense in his new abode. Just look at it. Really, a palace fit for a king. You take yourself, you take yourself a good sleep. Anyway, I've given some thoughts about what our, oh, about what our dear friend Port Calypso can do with his life. I've asked myself when I first started this game, Oh, gee, I wonder what expansion pack I'll have to buy in order to be able to farm. Turns out you could do it right away in the, in the stock game. Isn't that insane? We're going to turn him into a wonderful child of the soil there. Oh, look at that. Dreaming about acceptance and friendship and world peace and other god-awful obnoxious things. And you'll sp Jesus Christ. <laughs> He can't even shut his eyes! Oh, what have I created? Enjoying solitude. Oh, I can't exactly laugh at you for that. I enjoy solitude as well. Some neighbours have... Some neighbours have arrived to welcome us. It's two o'clock in the morning! What kind of sick people arrive and, and welcome us to the neighbourhood? To... Yeah, you're damn right, you're tired! Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Look at this gent. That's an interesting moustache. Go oh, you want, you're tired, aren't you? Well, go home! And who are you? Oh, wow. Another emo kid. Oh, why would he come out and talk to me? Oh, oh, he's a goth! He's one of the goths! Hello, I remember you. Recurring character. Well, I'm sorry, but you, you turn up at half past two at night. I am not going to answer the door. Or, you know, even come to the small <laughs> archway. <laughs> he hasn't even got any doors. Nah, nah, what are you talking about, McGoggin? This is, this is, this, this is the, this is the pinnacle of Spartan housing. <laughs> Why is his eyes crossed? Why are his eyes like derp? You know, derp eyes look in different ways. I can't even remember what the correct term of terminology is, but, uh, cockeyed? I don't know. Just go away. I'm not getting up. Go go to your beds. Look how tired you all are. I'm warning you, if you pass out in my garden, you'll wake up in that bathtub over there, missing certain internal organs. I know how to do it. I've done it before. So, so uh, obviously, yeah, I think a, a kitchen set was uh, just a little bit too, too much for our uh, bachelor, our swinging bachelor, so I got him a little barbecue. I think you can... Oh. Can you not use it indoors? Under the tree. What could go wrong? <laughs> I guess this has become an extended bathroom now. Um, 
I'll get you a skill, a skill thing. There, a little guitar for you there, because because you can. You, I bet you can play the guitar real well. I bet you can really articulate your emotions into musical form without any formal training whatsoever. Right, let's just get through the first night. You have a habit of waffling, Magog. Spending a huge amounts of time not doing anything except talking complete shit. I apologise. Right, get up! Get up! Get up! You have to test out our virgin barbecue. What do you mean? What is this? Why am I unable to use... Oh! Because we've got no ingredients, I bet. Right. All right. Mr. Special, you have to... You have to have your special fridge. There. I'll be happy. So now, now can we use the barbecue? Yes, we can! Why have you got your barbecue outside? Barbecues are not meant to be outside. Excellent! This has been turned back into a kitchen again. Right, I'll, I'll move, I'll move, uh, I'll move this. I'll move this here. Were well, you hungry, genius? Oh, I'm sorry, you're satisfying one of your lifetime wants. Watch TV. Stupefy yourself. Turn your brain into a mushy soup. Hey, that's a Sims 2! I recognise a Sims 2. Well, it's, it's not a Sims. It might be that Sims castaway. I don't know. Congratulations! You just watched television. It's dark! What do you mean it's dark? What's that? That's the sun! That's nature's lamp! For goodness sake. Oh. Next they'll be wanting heating and water. What is wrong with them? This, this shack started so well. And now look at it, it's horrible. Right, make hot dogs. Oh, it's paused. <laughs> that doesn't help. We've got a big day ahead of us. We need to go into town and get some seeds and start our great farm. Yeah, see, you've got light. A little lamp there. Maybe if you give it a rub, the genie will come out. <laughs> Making hot dogs in your pants. There we are. Look at them. Oh, there we go. Good lad. Fry him up. <laughs> that's, that's propane. It's good for your lungs. Just ask, ask Hank Hill. Oh, such a drama queen. <laughs> Just staring at us. Go away. What the hell? Oh, I see. Can we put... Oh, we can put them away. Excellent. That means we don't have to cook for many more moons. That's fantastic. Right, that's one hot dog. That should sustain you for the rest of the day, shouldn't it? You don't need any more. I don't want you getting fat. <laughs> Boop! <laughs> what are you doing? Disgruntled postal work running away into the dis... Forget him. Forget him. You don't want to know. Bills? Bills already? We've just moved in! Bloody government. Always trying to keep a brother down. Come on, let's do our civic duty then and pay our bills. So the military industrial complex can drop more bombs on innocent people. Yes. Yeah, I wonder where he was keeping that pen. Right, enough fannying about. We have important work to do. Now, I'm already very familiar with this uh, rather wonderful neighbourhood. I'm really looking forward to making my own neighbourhood eventually. Where are we going? Ah, yes, the grocery store. That's the one. There she is. Come on. Get it done. Ah, look at that. I really like how the how the whole world is just opened up. Everything's, you know, everything's all together. You don't have to... There's no loading screens between moving to different lots. All right, get in there. Get us some seeds. Then we can start planting. Now, I highly doubt we can grow a fish tree. Lettuce. That's something nice to start with. I like that one. Do we need anything else? Stuff. I like how it's got amazing, amazing, like, uh, you know, unique items. Good work, kid. An afternoon spent squeezing the fresh meat, eh? <laughs> but that's, that's just his, that's his usual afternoon routine, isn't it? Squeezing his meat. Hey, get yourself a book as well on gardening. Not about homoerogenous vampires. Gardening. You understand? 
yeah, I am really very impressed with this game so far. I just love how you can go anywhere and can pick up metal and stone that you find, seeds. You can plant things. It's just, I think, oh man, the immersion is wonderful. Just there's so much to do. And as I said, this is just the stock Sims 3, no expansion packs. I am looking at expansion packs though, don't you worry. Totally preggers. <laughs> Eric Holmberg Wielder. Nah. Totally preggers. That's that's what people where I'm from say. Oh, you heard about Chantel? She's like totally preggers, mate. There must be something about. Let's have a look here. Gardening. Here we are. Get your useless ass out here. Ah, uh, musty smell of old books. I want first editions here. Look the old books. Anyway, now that we're in a public place, let's see if we can uh, schmooze some friends. See if there's any uh, attractive looking ladies around. Or oh, men. Is Port Calypso a man or a woman? I actually can't remember. I think it must be. Oh, hello, nurse. There, eh, maybe not. Oh, is, she, is she hitting that poor man? They are as well. They're having a fight there. Violence is wrong. Except in most circumstances. Well, I think, Pork, it's just time to get home. Buy a stove. You don't need a stove. You've got a barbecue. Oh, crap. I didn't put away the leftovers. Quick. It's a disaster. You need to get back and protect your pork, Pork. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. I'm fairly certain he's a male. <laughs> Taxi driver's just like... Why do you have to live so far away from everyone? Oh, I've just realised I haven't actually shown you his house, have I? There it is. Look at that. The pinnacle of architectural style. That could survive a bloody earthquake, that could. Get these in the fridge. Oh, you left the TV on. So I wonder if we're getting bills already. So here we are. This is how we plant things, I believe. Can we just plant them anywhere? No. Right, I want nice, neat little rows here. Perfect. Our first little farm is coming coming into fruition. Between all the thistles and bracken. Oopsie corner. Yes. You know, I've always wanted my own garden. Just to plant seeds and watch things grow. I imagine it would be very therapeutic. As the... Uh, French philosopher and story writer Voltaire once said, one must cultivate one's garden. There's just something very peaceful about it all. Even when we are controlling a giant, manic depressive teenage freak. There we are, our first crop is nearly planted. Nice quality, all oh, very good, yes. Do we need to water them? No. There we are. Abundant amounts of lettuce. No doubt we shall reap a very fecund harvest soon, my friend. All right, you got the afternoon off. Do what you like. In fact, what am I talking about? Sorry, old boy, but uh, if we're going to be self-employed, you've got to study your craft. I really do enjoy this house. I don't know why. I just gain more pleasure from creating hovels than mansions for some reason. Looking forward to getting um This is the Sims 3 expansion packs called Seasons, where you've introduced weather. I am fairly certain it is. Ah, there we go, that was quick. Oh look at that! Oh we got given some. Given some seeds. Right, well what are you doing there then? You can write a sad song about how planting seeds is a metaphor for, I don't know, a very odd relationship you had with your father or something like that. I don't know. I'm not Freud. Will you stop crying over nothing? I said, put them in nice sporadic locations. Make it look very nice and, and natural. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Because I'm so nice, because I'm so helpful. We're going to fence off your property. Keep them miscreants out. Always stealing our crops, they are. <laughs> ah, Farmer Calypso. Are you in there, Jeb? Me... <laughs> Me and Abraham are going to go and steal Farmer Calypso's tomatoes again. Let's see, what is becoming of a farmer? 
<laughs> Build a ten foot wall around my lamp. Oh! Farm coat tree fence! Perfect! <laughs> there we are. Oh, oh wow! This is actually uh, a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Ah, what the hell. No, not the eye drop, but the sledgehammer. There we go. Sledgehammer. There we are. <laughs> Come on, get those apples planted, boy. <laughs> you just you just radiate, farmer. Sorry. This is mollifying. Is it just the same thing over and over? This is like this is like that channel that we have in England, CBBS. It's the weirdest channel ever. It's not even for like little children. It's for like people who are drunk or you know off the tits with on on crystal meth or something. Ah, pork. Just content at sitting on his ass in front of the boob tube. Come on, I thought you wanted to. I thought you harboured dreams of becoming some sort of musician. Let's see what you got, boy. Why are you taking it outside? I thought you were an introvert. But you want everyone to hear you. There are tears welling in my eyes. Oh. Oh, yes, yes. It, obviously, you played the wrong note in an ironic way. To 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 mock those who, who claim to be good musicians, but play everything wrong. That's it. 10,000 hour rule. And I think with the incredibly fast pace of time in this game, that shouldn't be too much of a problem for you. What the hell? Has to pee? And you sat down to do it? Oh, well, whatever. I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be obsessing over your... your... your, your lavatorial... Uh, your lavatorial preferences. None, none of my business, after all. To the shop. What about cheese? Can we make a cheese plant? Or a hot dog tree? Well... I don't think we're going to get anything else done today that can be called productive. <laughs> what we need to do, pork old boy, is get you some friends. Convince them to move in with you. We can build them some lodging, and they can do all the hard work for you. Yeah. Good idea. Mind you, how are you going to get friends? I mean, look at you. You could be a self-made man. An entrepreneur of agricultural exports. But as it is, I think I will call it... A day here in a beautiful. I actually can't remember what the name of this neighbourhood is. Ah, never mind. It hardly matters. Pork Calypso Land, for all I care. So, I've been McGoggin Lives, and this has been Pork Calypso. <laughs>